Hi guys, I am back at Dawnfell Keep. This is version 1.2. Looks completely different than the last version. The mod author's clearly done a lot of work. I'll show you where we are on the map. Now this is where the old Dawnfell Keep was. It's now called the Abbey of Sar. And the new Dawnfell Keep is all the way over here. And to get to it, you need to come here to Ngar Barrow. And that's when the hard work begins. So you can't get into that Abbey of Sarth because it's locked and I don't have the key for it. But this, oh holy god, be prepared for the longest dungeon of your life, I'm not even joking. Once you go into the barrow, you will run through it and find a turning off to the right hand side. If you keep following that and you keep killing Draugr, and I mean so many Draugr, it's unreal. <laughs> you will eventually, and I mean eventually, like hours later, get to your destination. And the, the good news is, once you've got there, because I was thinking, oh god, how the hell am I going to get home? I just don't even know. Well, there are plenty of points of interest for you to discover. Here are some. Residence, the keep, balcony. The distance, aren't you? There's a long ass way to fight to get to, but it's so worth it. So I'll take you to the residence first of all. And I must say, it was a fun trip. It really was. At this place. Quite extraordinary. I'll show you. Well, so many, there's so many low doors. But it's hard to know exactly what to show you first, really. I'll show you the Great Hall. So the inside hasn't really changed from the previous edition. As you can see, it's all pretty samey. Throne. Plenty of weapon racks, display cases and mannequins, etc. And obviously I'm going to get lost. It is a, an utter maze, actually. But I thought that about the last version of this. It's huge. And for me personally, you know, I like my decoration, I like lots of it. Um, this is quite sparse looking, you know? But I know there'll be more work done on this. So, lots of rooms. Like I say, they're all in the same sort of style. find your way around here then you're a better person than I am mind you I have the worst sense of direction these <laughs> so and there is a whole hall full of these teleportation devices that one isn't working yet and here they are some of these aren't working yet and some of them are the arcanium keep not working yet nor is that one. So, there is work to be done.
This is where we came in last time, if you have seen that previous video. It's very difficult using the um, teleports to see what relates to what. And by the way, once you've fought your way through the a barrow, through Speak all the mobs in there, you will find that there are still probably hundreds, actually, to fight uh, to get here. <laughs> oh boy, it's something. And the place outside... The whole world is so much bigger here now. There are loads of places to find. So, Vale of Dreams, Great Star Lake, Watcher's Point, Winds of High Castle, the Mountain Farmlands, and Pillars of the Gods. So, in addition to everything around Dawnfell, you now have all these other places. I'll just give you a show you. And I hope to God that all the mobs haven't repopped. Oh, they, they have. Oh. Oh. Weapon would be good. Inigo is at home at the moment, at Bree's home. It's like this the whole way, I'm not even joking. Oh, and followers, Help. it's so not friendly. Uh, I had to keep summoning Inigo, he kept getting stuck in the scenery, so there's, you know, clearly sort of work to do on the nerve mission. And you can see my Dramora Lord is just taking it easy even getting involved. <laughs> a bit rude. <laughs> oh man, there's even more of them. Okay, well, frankly, I've done enough. Leave me alone. Is it just me, or when they do their shout, it sounds like croissant. It absolutely sounds like croissant. It definitely doesn't sound like Fosrodar. Anyway, I'll show you the next bit. Okay, so now we're at the farmland. And as you can see, the, the veil is absolutely beautiful. You will not get much time to admire it though, believe me, when you're travelling through here. So you have some nice little farms, and they are um, manned, if that's the right word, by ghosts. They're friendly. It's just tranquil and serene, and I... you know, frankly, if there wasn't all the mobs around... Oh, I've got floating gourds. <laughs> uh, then, you know, it would be a really beautiful place to come and explore. But as it is... Uh, yeah, it's it's too much for me. <laughs> I mean, they are hard. Look back at that view, though, eh? Fantastic world he's created. Don't you think? It's quite something. So, yeah, everywhere you go, aggravation. Literally every single one of these, you will, <laughs> you will find hassle. So, let's go to the key. And as previously, it's still full of the ebony warrior type guards. And the layout of the keep, etc. hasn't changed. It's still a pretty fantastic looking place. Amazing.
really something. So, you know, if you want, it's like, it's almost like a little mini expansion. Why are you coming at me with a sword? You want something from me? No. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's almost like a little mini expansion. You can see where the model is going with this. He's expanding it all the time. There are new things being added all the time. What is there is changing. an eye on. I'm going to leave you with that view. This is just a, a short update video. Um, I probably won't come back again now until it's actually finished uh, and in its final form. I imagine, oh maybe I will, I don't know. It may go through one or two more metamorphoses before that happens. But I'll call that the end of this video and I will see you soon for the next.